What is going on guys, this is Gene Jensen, and what I wanna to do today is I wanna talk about the baits that we should be using in the month of April. All right, so to start off with, what you guys need to know about these videos is when I do my monthly bait videos, I launch the video and then the subsequent videos after that that I launch in the next couple of weeks will be specifically about these individual baits. I'll dive into them really, really deep in those videos, but right now we're just gonna hit the highlights. All right, so the first, first bait I wanna talk about is the one that I'm gonna have tied on pretty much most of the year, but it really works good when you're covering a lot of water and you're looking for these pre-spawners and these spawners around thick and heavy cover in the grass, in the trees, in the bushes, in whatever's in the water, things, a lot of snaggy stuff, and that would be a swim jig. I don't care if you're in Florida or anywhere else there's bass. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other places and I can't, but a swim jig really does work. And what I'm gonna to lean towards is gonna be a bluegill colored swim swim jig. Now this is a, uh, I think this is a Picasso or a Six Sense, I can't remember. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link down in the description of all these baits and all the rods and reels that I talk about. So you guys can go to Tackle Warehouse and check them out. And if you buy them, uh, it's my affiliate link and I get a little bit of a cut. So just to be, to be upfront with everybody. So this one right here, I like to lean towards the bluegill colors because those are the most uh, aggravating uh, bait fish to a bass. Also, I'll throw a white on in some uh, some occasions, but somewhere between a bluegill and a white, sometimes a green pumpkin down in Florida. But I don't really get crazy about the colors. I just want something that's similar to a bluegill. Now, trailers. This trailer right here is one of my favorites. It's somewhere down here. I've got a bag of them. And what it is, it's the Shockwave from Missile Baits. They've got a 3.5 and they've got a 4 inch. And I use one or the other but they're really really good and this color right here is really good for a bluegill color but uh just covering a lot of water and reeling fairly slow and I, what i want to do is i want to bring it i want to bust it through cover and let it fall a little bit so i'm so i'm casting it out but like i said i'll get into that in detail later the rod and the reel that i'm going to use is going to be a heavy fast action rod or a heavy moderate action rod but it's easier to find a fast action rod and i'm really not that picky um, it's just all about getting fish out of the cover. So I tend to like a fast action rod or fast power or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so this one right here, this is the 13 Fishing Meta. It's the one that uh, Gerald Swindle, there's his logo on the bottom. But uh, Gerald Swindle designed, and it's also the reel, the Inception G2 reel. And this is an 8.3 to 1 reel, fat, heavy fast, fast power rod, or heavy power fast action rod. And, um, and you're just going to cover a lot of water and, and just... You know, cast it out, bring it through brush and stuff like that. The the line is going to be a 20 pound fluorocarbon or 55 pound braid, 50 to 60 pound braid, and uh, and it's just one of those. It's a workhorse, man. It really is. Just make sure you got a good beefy reel. Make sure you crank that that uh, drag down real good, and uh, and cast it out. And oh man, they freaking annihilate. It's like throwing a spinner bait, but not getting hung up nearly as much. Next one's gonna be one that I really fish a lot this time of the year from the time that it gets uh, 40 degrees all the way through the spawn and that's gonna be a lipless crankbait, good old school rattle trap. Um, either a shad color or like I said, a bluegill color, but I throw this around um, just when I'm covering big, huge flats and it's never a steady retrieve. It's always a really fast, really erratic retrieve and, and you know, matter of fact, I've got a really good video about that. I may not make another video because this one's so good and I'll link it right up here in the cards. But what I'm gonna throw this on is a medium heavy, moderate action rod. 13 has a really good one that's that's made for, for uh, chatter baits. And it's called, it was once called the chatter crank rod. Uh, it's in several different models. And basically it's a slightly heavier, medium heavy, moderate rod. And it's really good for lipless crank baits. This is the Envy Black, and uh, this is a Concept C. I throw it on a seven, uh, what the, is the gear ratio? Seven five to one gear ratio reel. I don't like it as fast as like the swim jig and stuff like that. And uh, and it's just another one you just cover a lot of water when you can't see anything. You got grass, maybe a stump bed or, you know, that kind of stuff. You just chunk it around and hold on tight. So next one. Uh, the next one's going to be another moving bait. We're going to get a little bit more in detail with this one. And I don't know why my lighting is doing it's going so bad. I guess it's because I got sun or got the clouds behind me. Anyway, so it's the next one's going to be a flat-sided 
square bill or a coffin bill. This is a Fritz side. And you see it's got a coffin bill or a square bill will work just good. This one dives a little bit deeper because this water clarity is, the, lake in the, the water in this lake is pretty clear, so the bass are going to be spawning a little bit deeper. So I'm going to throw one that's five to seven feet. If you've got kind of murky, muddy water and they're up shallow spawning, I'm going to throw something that, that goes a little bit slower, or a little bit shallower, sorry. Um, there's several different flat-sided crankbaits that I use. Like I said, there's going to be a link down in the description to all these, but Fritz side, the, uh, for a deep one, a really good deep one that dives eight plus would be a, a Strike King, um, I think I'm going to say it's a KVD 1.5 deep or flat deep or whatever they call it. Um, now, you know why I link down in the description because I always forget things. A Six Cents, this is a, uh, their um, 75 flat. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember any of these things. Too funny. Um, a, a Little John, a Spro Little John. And the colors are going to be, I like yellow. This is a custom um, that I bought at a show a couple years ago. Yellow, reds, and shad colors and bluegill colors. But for some reason, I don't have any. I guess the yellow would be kind of a bluegill color. But, uh, and I'm, like I said, I'm just going to cover a lot of water, just work the bank. Another really good one that I don't have in my box is a, an old school bomber flat A. It is a pain in the butt to cast, but it's a really, really good pre-spawn flat-sided square bill um, or crank bit. It's not really a square bill, but um, but yeah, I'll leave all those links down there. But anyway, so the rod I'm going to throw it on is again a me either a medium moderate action rod or this one is another medium heavy uh, envy. Just you know just my preference but it's got to be a moderate rod or you tend to lose a lot of the fish they tend to throw the hooks a lot easier when you have a stiff rod so you need one that's not quite as stiff uh seven five to one gear ratio reel or a six three to one if you have a tr hard time slowing down and i'm just going to cover the bank reeling super slow and uh and just keep covering water until i get bit this one i can't talk about enough and it's probably going to be an every monthly bait video from here on out but it is uh is a good old jackhammer chatterbait. Now, I, one I don't have is I don't have any of the, the new um, slobber knockers from Berkeley with me. Wait for this car to pass. And, and they both have their place, and I really have had a lot of luck with a slobber knocker. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, the, the Z-Man chatterbait, the, this is the, the jackhammer. The other one I throw is a, is a Minimax. And I do that when I've got a, a, a lot of cover that the, the other chatterbait's getting hung up in and it's real shallow and I wanna keep it shallow and that kind of stuff, usually lily pad stems. And, but, uh, but that's where the slobber knocker really works great is coming through lily pads, coming through brush. It doesn't get hung up nearly as much as a chatterbait. So if you got a lot of cover, uh, a lot of bushes and a lot of lily pads, throw the slobber knocker. And the, again, the colors I'm gonna choose are gonna be a green pumpkin or a white or a, a bluegill color. So the rod I'm throwing it on, again, medium heavy, uh, moderate at moderate rod, 15 pound test fluorocarbon or 17 pound. And the same thing uh, with the square bill, I forgot to mention 12 pound test fluorocarbon. Uh, I throw a Brazex, Seaguar Brazex on all of this stuff. And then for, um, for the lipless crankbait, I'm throwing 15 or 17 because I tend to fish it really, really aggressive. And for the chatterbait, I'm going to also throw a 7-3 to 1 gear or 7-5 to 1 gear ratio reel. This is the new uh, Inception slide, uh, slide 2, and it's a 7-3 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, just, a, just a really good for this kind of stuff. And like I said, I'm going to dive deeper into the chatterbait in the video that I'm going to make. All right, so the next one is you got to have something to throw at stumps and if you see a bed and that kind of stuff, something like what I'm gonna do when I leave here is I'm gonna go over to a, a stump bed and I'm gonna be flipping submerged timber. And this is really cool. It's a brand new bait out on the market and it's called the Yama Tanuki from, from uh, Yamamoto. And that's what it looks like. And I want you to look close at this one. It's got teeth marks on it. So it's not like I just pulled this out of a box. It catches them. And it's really good when you get into this cover and you just, it, it, it's a weightless, I get it's a weightless bait, but it acts like you're a Texas rig when you, you're casting it. It's really heavy. It's like three quarters of an ounce 
and you can work cover and you can you can reel it in real fast and get another flip in it's really really accurate but once it hits the water it acts like a Cinco. it falls just like this it's on a four aught hook and it just you get this little wiggling tail right here and it just falls real slow down along stumps and and docks and things like that things that that bass tend to spawn around and so if i get into a stump flat you're going to see me flip it out let it fall on a slack line and just watch that line all the way down i'm going to fish this on the same uh, rod that i'm going to throw a jig on or any other good size texas rig and this is a seven foot three medium heavy this is a fake black only in like an 80 dollar rod um a uh, a, a z slide 13 fishing z slide high speed reel eight three to one high, high speed reeled and uh and an ewg hook 17 because i'm going to be jacking them really hard i want 17 pound or 20 pound test fluorocarbon and uh and like i said just cover just as something to flip to cover where the bass is either going to be staging to pre-spawn or they're going to be spawning on so a lot of fun to fish and like i said it's already got teeth marks. all right so the next one and the very last one it's another staple you gotta have something for for finesse and what we got here is we got a shaky head and that's what i'm gonna be same thing as the as the yama tanukis i'm gonna be flipping it around cover and stuff like that um but a lot more finessey this one right here this is a uh a missile baits uh, warlock head and it's quickly but well, not quickly i've been using it for years but it's become one of my favorite shaky heads i tend to throw a, a straight tail worm on a shaky head but this time of the year you, it's not uncommon to see me throw a little baby uh lizard on there something that's got a little bit more tentacles and things like that that the bass are a little bit more apt to to go crazy over but anyway flipping it around throwing it on a, a spinning rod of course um this is a uh, this is a, a new axiom from 13 throwing on a medium uh, medium fast action rod seven foot four i like a medium or a medium heavy this is a this is a medium uh 30 pound test braid to some fluorocarbon usually 10 to 12 pound test fluorocarbon tie it together with the fg knot and go to town it's a lot of fun so that's it that's all the baits i've got for this month like I say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing, introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out of the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day. We'll see you.